Hey, take a look at Bitcoin pulling back today, but holding above that 36,000 level. Bitcoin, though, down 37 percent over the past month. And our resident Bitcoin baller, BK, says the worst of the recent sell off could be over. BK, explain. Yeah, so for me, when you look at Bitcoin, it's all about network effect and really about address growth. So one of the key metrics that I look at when I'm managing crypto money is how fast addresses are growing versus what the market is expecting uh, the addresses to grow. So what we're looking at right now in the charts that I brought along, our address growth is basically flat. But the market is implying that we're going to have a decline of almost 20% in address growth. We haven't seen that type of differential since March of 2020. And generally when, the, when Bitcoin gets that mispriced, it is the sign of that bottoming process. And so we look back to March of 2020 when we had a massive divergence. That was when Bitcoin was 3,500 and it, and it roared to 60,000. We're looking at the exact same type of situation here where it looks like Bitcoin's trying to bottom. The market is mispricing what's going on underneath the, under, the fundamentals underlying Bitcoin. How much conviction, BK, do you have in this interpretation of your charts in that are you adding, I mean, I know you're probably pretty long, but do you think that this yeah. is an opportunity? <laughs> I do, I do. I, I mean, I, I, I personally added to our fund this month because I think it's that big of an opportunity in the fund. We are long and getting longer. Now, what I would like to see, obviously, Bitcoin's very momentum driven. So now we need to see some price follow through here and get that momentum going. Uh, but to me, the story hasn't changed one bit, right? We, we're getting institutional adoption. Uh, we're getting uh, as an inflationary hedge. And regulatory-wise, we're getting um, watered down regular. It's not going to be banned. We're talking about bringing it into the fold. Those are all positive things for me. And that, to me, is reflected in that mispricing. So, Beeks, how important are the technicals? I mean, obviously, you're looking at some metrics that you've used in the past to kind of guide um, your thought process for future performance. You know, Carter Braxton Worth, he is in the pantheon of technical analysts here. He's seeing lower lows here, man. And that was a panic low of about 30,000 a week or so ago, a week and a half ago. And he sees that if it breaks there, that maybe you get back to that 2017, 18 peak near 20,000. Could that technical setup plus maybe some, some regulatory um, headlines with some teeth kind of draw it back, back down to those levels. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I, I don't know if 30,000 was the low. I have pretty high conviction that it was. Um, but Bitcoin is a funny way of, you know, making you look silly. Uh, listen, if it got down to 20,000, I'd be buying with both of my diamond hands for sure. Uh, but technicals are important when it comes to Bitcoin. Uh, because it's difficult to value, it's very much like the foreign currency markets. Technicals play a very big role. And that's why I mentioned I want to see the momentum follow on here, right? Because momentum is kind of that first signal that the technicals are turning. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.